sick. We've already looked at this before, but... Oh, Amazon drone delivery will save the company billions. Well, pretty I'll be back soon, in one that will be a thing of the past. Amazon something. has invested billions into delivery drones that can deliver packages in 30 minutes or less. Amazon Prime Air could save the company $47 billion per year in shipping costs, and drones could permanently replace $127 billion worth of human effort. The e-commerce giant has spent more than $100 billion on research and development in the last decade, and much of that has been used to develop AI technologies like autonomous drones. One day, human delivery drivers could be obsolete. Here's a look at how Amazon's fleet of drones will change the company forever. Jeff Bezos is on the cusp of revolutionizing Amazon's delivery system. Amazon Prime Air is Amazon's drone delivery program, and the company has spent billions to make drone delivery a reality. It might be expensive now, but in the long run, it will save the online retailer billions. If drones are delivering packages, shipping costs will shrink dramatically. Unfortunately, it also means human delivery drivers could one day be a thing of the past. Automation is making many jobs obsolete, and delivery drones are just another example of that phenomenon. Drones will be able to deliver packages much faster than humans, and the cost to maintain a drone fleet will be significantly less than the cost of paying employees. Drone delivery will disrupt labor forces in the future. Bezos first introduced his plan for drone delivery in 2013 when he appeared on 60 Minutes, and Amazon finally received FAA approval for its drone fleet this past summer. Now that FAA approval has been secured, Amazon can begin testing customer deliveries in the US. FAA approval didn't come cheap. Amazon spent $9.4 million lobbying for FAA approval in 2015 alone. Things have gone a lot more smoothly for Amazon in the UK. The e-commerce giant completed its first successful Prime Air drone delivery way back in 2016. The delivery of an Amazon Fire TV and a bag of popcorn took only 13 minutes via drone. The drone successfully took off from a fulfillment center on the outskirts of Cambridge and landed safely in a nearby customer's yard. Amazon chose to test its drones in the countryside surrounding Cambridge because the large fields made perfect landing spots for drones equipped with packages. The bigger the yard, the easier it is for a drone to land. Amazon is still using Prime Air to deliver packages in the Cambridge area, and the number of customers using the service has expanded in recent years. To start, only two customers in Cambridgeshire could use Prime Air. But Amazon has almost doubled its Cambridge Prime Air team in the past year in an effort so now four customers <laughs> for to serve more customers amazon is still in the process of perfecting wow pog that's crazy its drones the first drone prototypes were big and bulky but the most recent design is sleek and futuristic the company's most recent autonomous drone was unveiled at the mars conference in las vegas last year it sort of looks like a tie fighter thanks to its hexagonal shape the drone takes off vertically like a helicopter, but it transitions into flight mode once it's in the air. The panels that protect the rotors act as wings in flight mode, and each drone has a total of six rotors, two double-blade rotors, and four triple-blade rotors. State-of-the-art visual, thermal, and ultrasonic sensors allow the drones to safely navigate the skies and avoid obstacles in the air and on the ground. Every type of sensor is vital because no sensor alone can detect every obstacle. Fluffy dogs are invisible to sonar, so that's where thermal sensors come in. The drones also have the ability to detect when a person is too close, and they won't take off. Does that mean they're gonna fucking... <laughs> Wait. Fluffy dogs are invisible to sonar? So what happens then? Off until the customer has retrieved his or her package and retreated to a safe distance. The drones can even detect obstacles like clotheslines, so you don't have to worry about a drone getting tangled up in your underwear. Amazon has even patented a safety system that would allow its drones to break up into smaller pieces in the event of failure. If the drone were to crash, the smaller pieces would cause less damage to buildings and homes. The new drones are fully autonomous and can travel up to 15 miles. They are still only capable of delivering packages that weigh 5 pounds or less, but you could call that a feature rather than a design flaw. Amazon says that 75 to 95 percent of its packages are under that weight limit anyway. Drones will save Amazon a lot of money. It costs approximately 10 cents for Amazon to deliver a 4.4 pound package over six miles via drone. Delivering a package via ground transportation is far more expensive, 
It costs Amazon between $2 and $8 to deliver a package from one of its warehouses to a customer's doorstep via its last mile delivery program. Just think of all the money that could be saved if Amazon doesn't have to pay workers and spend money on fuel. Amazon's profits are growing every year, but so are its expenses. That's why the company is on a mission to reduce shipping costs. Amazon spent $37.9 billion on shipping in 2019, and the 2020 cost will be significantly higher. Amazon spent $47 billion on shipping from the start of quarter three, 2019 to the end of quarter two, 2020. Drones would almost completely eliminate those costs. The savings would be astronomical, and Amazon plans to pass those savings on to customers. Experts at ARK Investment Management predict that Amazon could charge as little as $1 per drone delivery. The investment firm's estimate takes into account a variety of factors, including operating expenses, associated with building and maintaining a fleet of drones and the percentage of orders that might be feasibly delivered by drones. Price Warehouse Coopers estimates that $127 billion in manpower will be permanently phased out in the near future because of drones like Amazon Prime Air. Bezos knows that drones could save Amazon billions in the long run, but developing the technology certainly wasn't cheap. Bro, when whatever this is for, when you're dressed up this way and you're like a, a mega billionaire, do you ever think like, yeah, I kind of look like a villain on this one. Like, I should probably go with the regular look. Like, you, my guy literally looks like Lex Luthor. I mean, no disrespect the boss man, but what is this drip? This drip literally looks like it, it, it wants to bring back. Uh, this drip just argued about how child labor is actually fulfilling. Like, that's the drip. Why you don't understand? <laughs> These coal miners are actually getting an important lesson in black lung. <laughs> Monopoly man looking Andy, dude. Could save Amazon billions in the long run, but developing the technology certainly wasn't cheap. Since 2012, Amazon has spent more than $100 billion on research and development, which is substantially more than any other big tech companies like Alphabet, Microsoft, and Apple. Amazon has made researching artificial intelligence a top priority. The company's AI research has resulted in impressive autonomous drones, and that's just the beginning. Bezos is not going to rest on his laurels once Amazon drones are commonplace. He has very big plans for the future. It's not just delivery drones that will be taking to the skies. Amazon has filed a patent for a flying warehouse too. Imagine a huge Amazon blimp floating in the sky that can send delivery drones out all across the city. A floating warehouse could be even more cost effective than sending a drone out from a fulfillment center on the ground. A Japanese designer even created a concept video showcasing the potential technological advancement. The video went viral and many people thought it was real. Even though Amazon hasn't produced a floating warehouse yet, we know it's possible thanks to the patent the company filed in 2014. Amazon has also filed patents for futuristic warehouses that could blend seamlessly into the cityscape. The company has filed a patent for a cylindrical-shaped command center as well as a beehive-shaped command center. These state-of-the-art hubs would be able to send out drones at a much faster rate than the Amazon Prime Air Fulfillment Center in Cambridge, which can only send out- It's so sad that I look at all of this and my immediate reaction isn't like, oh, this is so sick. It's just like living in the fucking future. And it's more like, oh shit, this is kind of sick. We're living in the fucking future. And, you know, I, all I'm thinking of is the unemployment that's going to come as a consequence of fucking drone and automation. One drone at a time. So far, Amazon Prime Air drones can only travel 15 miles, but Amazon has filed a patent that could offer an ingenious solution to that problem. The company is considering birdhouse-like charging stations for the drones. These charging stations could be placed all over cities and double as streetlights, cell towers, solar panels, or GPS receivers. Do you think Amazon was the only company developing delivery drones? Well, the tech giant actually has a lot of competition in the air. Alphabet-owned Wing was the first company to receive FAA approval to use drones for deliveries, and United Parcel Service has also received FAA approval for drone delivery. Wing, which has partnered with Walgreens and FedEx, has been conducting limited drone deliveries in Virginia since last year, and UPS has used drones to fly medical supplies and samples to hospitals in Raleigh, North Carolina. Even Amazon's biggest rival, Walmart, is getting in on the action. Walmart began testing drone deliveries in Fayetteville, North Carolina earlier this year. 
That's it, folks. Will you sign up for Amazon Prime Air when it becomes available in your region? Are you excited about the prospect of Amazon? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. No joke, no meme, obviously, of course. Yeah, everybody's saying no. Everybody's saying no. It's so funny. No, I won't. Okay, bro. Sure. Get the fuck out of here. You will sign up. First of all, you won't even sign up. You won't even know if it's fucking being drone delivered or not. At first, it'll be drone delivered, and you'll think it's like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I got one of those drone deliveries. It's, it's like Postmates. Postmates have, has already started using drone delivery. Well, not like flying drones, but, you know, those robots. They already started doing it. And at first you're like, wow, this is so silly. This is so sick. This is so strange. And then later you're going to be like, it's just a normal part of your life. This is how it always works. But the reason why when you see something like this and your immediate, your immediate question is how many people are going to be jobless because of this? The reason why you're going to think about that is because of capitalism. We're living in a 2D, in a 3D world. This shit needs to have in Pog. <laughs> There's hotels with robot room service. They're noisy. Yeah, well, whatever. Can't wait for my grand to be taken out when Amazon drone drops her soup from the sky. Kyle Rittenhouse appeared in court via call. No, I don't want to watch. Drone delivery on a company technology is awesome, but I'm not into the massive power and greed of Jeff Bezos and Amazon. <sighs> um, do you know how fucking loud drones are, dude? It would suck. I don't know how loud they are. <sighs> what happens when someone gets pissed by their delivery and kicks the fuck out of the drone? I don't know. Fuck you, dog. The only reason I use anything from Amazon is because you stream here. Otherwise, I don't fuck with that shit. Really? I don't live in a, in a planet where I, I, like, I don't even know what I would do if I didn't use Amazon. Go to the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but when would I do it? When would I do it? When would I go to the grocery store? Shop local? Man, I live in West Hollywood. Do you know how many fucking local grocery stores exist here? It's gentrified as fuck. <laughs> you make it seem like... You make it seem like there's a there's an option to go to a, a local grocery store. Like, you know, there is there's something beyond like Walmart or not Walmart, but like uh Whole Foods and Sprouts and and Trader Joe's. If automation like this was happening under socialism, it'd be so fucking amazing for humanity. But since it's capitalism, it's scary for the working class. Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, that's the whole... That's what I was saying. The grocery store is really expensive as fuck. Why the fuck do you live over there, you psycho? I don't know. I like living here. Ordering MDMA via drone from Oregon, Pog, you make this happen now, please, Mr. Bezo, Pog. Can't wait to get crushed by a malfunctioning drone delivering energy drinks to someone for a dollar. Unfettered capitalism has created an educated lower class and our corporate overlords want us to stay that way. Mr. Bezo, Pog, you, sir. Sir, Pog, you, Mr. Bezo, sir. Pog. Pog, Mr. Bezo, sir, Pog, you. Um, okay, what, what should we play, though? 
real question is, what should we play? So go back to Sleeping Dogs, Valhalla. I don't want to do Bug Snacks. Why the fuck do I have so many babies that want me to play Bug Snacks, dude? I just, I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand why you constantly and consistently advocate for Bug Snacks. Every breath I got you a Hades, I'm not gonna play that. Cold War multiplayer with comms? Fortnite for the memes? No. I'm not gonna play Hades. Dude, Bug Snacks is a balanced game. Fair hitboxes, sweet soundtrack, and overall just a great game. How can we make socials and work without giving the government too much power? What? Miz played it. It's like Pokemon. Miz is a PS5. I, I don't really care about playing a fucking Pokemon clone. Did you watch the donkey video? Yeah. Play Among Us with donkey? No. Is he even playing Among Us? Oh. Yeah. Camera shake? It's because my legs are shaking. Bloodborne like a bruv? Bug snacks is class critique at its finest. Feed me invasion kills and demon souls. Ya kelp. I got to finish Demon Souls uh, NG plus uh, first mission then if I want to do invasions again. Wait, I can't even do invasions in NG plus, right? Wait, can I even do invasions in NG plus? Well, like only four one is going to be open, right? Not four two. In NG+, plus, does it mean that only, like, are all and all the fucking uh, levels open, or is it just, like, some of the levels? Bloodborne, my guy. Fuego, trust. Your soul level is the only thing that determines matchability, Hasanabi. Okay, I am going to play Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3. No, we're not going to do that. All right, I'm going to put it up for a, I'm going to put it up for a poll. I have played Stanley Parable. 